Undercover Carson, Secret Agent. Operation Death Ray, assignment in Rio. The moment Fakarelli started to dance that night at El Rocco, I sensed that something was wrong. I sat with Sir Giles Davenport, my Rio contact, at a table alongside the small floor. Faye gave no sign that she recognized us, but she danced close to us, and in the course of a rather breathtaking back flip, she shot something under the drapes of the cloth covering the table. Message, brief one, saying some sociable fellow in the corner was about to pick a fight with me. Discretion being what it is, we left. But once out in that dark, narrow side street, we were stopped in our tracks. The shadows were moving, menacingly. They wore boots. As I was saying, Carson, awkward, don't you think? It seems so, Sir Giles. I fear I won't be much support in a skirmish. The only thing I shape up to these days is a mosquito, and then most times lose out. How many are there? Four. Five. Oh, dismal odds. Hmm. Never carry a gun, more's the pity, yourself. The best I can manage is a pipe. You scarcely bludgeon our way out with that. Bluff our way, perhaps. This one, for instance. What the deuce? One of my novelty pipes, this. Specially designed to the somewhat sardonic tastes of a Turk. Stems a bored barrel, fine caliber. Extraordinary. Let's twist the bow, like <coughs> so... And armed she is. Uh, how many rounds, ma'am? Six. Effective, I assure you. Well, let's see how effective, Carson. Those uh, shadows are closing in. Well, here goes. This has gone far enough, my friends. You'll keep your distance. They're still coming, Carson. This in my hand is a gun. Stop. Look out. They don't seem to understand. Hurry, cuidado. Comprende me. Still moving, old chap. So, seems they don't think this is a gun. Very well. Shot over their heads. Watch out for yourselves. Now. Carson. Uh, Miss Fire seems. Try again. Great Lucifer. Uh. That was six, old chap. So, can't understand it. Yeah, they've been smoking the propellant, I fear, but uh, what now? Fist expect. Ready, Sir Giles? Here they come. What's that, Carson? Where did that shot? Someone behind the mob. Stopped him anyway. It's the wisest that you stop, Senor. This gun will not fail. Why, it's Angelo. It is. Now, Stout my fellow. friends, you will permit the two English singers to depart unmolested. In our cue, Carson. Oh, no urging needed, Sir Giles. Besides, shooting's drawn the nightclub crowd outside. Best make ourselves scarce. Never a dull moment. Our would-be assailants went one way, we the other. The El Rocco crowd came out and wondered. Meanwhile, we were driving comfortably along one of Rio's broad avenues, Sir Giles' trusty servant at the wheel. Indeed, Angelo, I cannot say too often, a really timely arrival, eh, Carson? Most. <laughs> <laughs> Excellency, when you give me the telephone ring and say you go to El Rocco with Senor Carson, I think to myself alone. Hey, Carson's going to leave the old fella into trouble, eh? <laughs> oh, no, no, Excellency. In Senor Carson, I have every faith, but not in El Rocco. Many bad tales are told of that place. There's no doubt. So I think perhaps you need a spare guardian angel. <laughs> Especially when the pipe gun of Senor Carson refused to work. Jones, yes. Awkward, that. Can't understand why it failed. As I said, Carson, you, you smoked the propellant. Gives you that um, explosive charm with women. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 easy on the corners, Angelo. And, Carson, don't go fiddling around with that pipe in here. I might finally decide to go off. In fact, sir. That's the idea. Shove it back in your pocket out of harm's way. But now that we've settled down, what do you make of tonight? Well, we have opposition on this job. Ample evidence of that. Indeed, indeed. In the nightclub, seems Faye either spotted or overheard someone plotting trouble for us. You or did she? How do you mean, Sir Giles? Well, that message... Might have been a simple ruse to get us outside into certain waiting arms. Mm, perhaps. Though on second thoughts, not. No? She was afraid of something when she was dancing. Told you so, long before we got the note. 
Well, Carson, for all her lissom grace, one can't help but suspect her. You recall what happened at your hotel suite this afternoon. Someone doctored the cocktail. Either Mademoiselle Carelli, Miss Helena Jensen, or Senorita Paquita Riffio. So? And speaking of the Senorita brings us back to... Uh, Angela, what the devil are you trying to do? Turn the rose on its back? No, Excellency. Simply trying to shake off our pursuer. Uh, what? Pursuers? By means of the mirror, I observe them. Yeah, fact, Sir Giles. Someone tailing us. Well, in that case, Angelo, perhaps you'd step on it. At once, Excellency. Had enough trouble for one night. Let her rip. Nice driving, Angelo. Undoubtedly, they wanted to run us down in some badly lit treasure road. Yeah, it took a little shaking off, but here we are, Carson, at your hotel. Hmm. Been quite a day, Sir Giles. Yeah, quite. And uh, reverting to Senorita Riffio... Oh, yes, Sir Giles. We uh, go ahead in the morning, then. She's under suspicion, too, of course, but we just can't afford to pass up her offer to put us in touch with that German flyer. Let's say you drop into my apartment and we arrange final details. So, sir. sir. Uh, be there about 8.30. On dot. Well, say good night. Uh, good night, old ship. Good night, senor. Yes, yes, Angelo. And uh, once again, many thanks for turning up when you did. What now? Monsieur Bruce. Faye, what are you doing there in the shadows? Please, over here. Right. Now tell me now, why here at this late hour? It is most important to me that I speak to you. Otherwise they will not rest tonight in peace. Something troubling you, madame? Of course. You received my note at El Rocco? Did. Well, are you not pleased? Yes, yes, except we... Nearly ran into serious trouble outside. Oh, there was someone outside also? That was the shot? Oh, Monsieur Bruce, you were not hurt. That charming aged gentleman was not hurt. Not a hair of our heads. Oh, I was so terrified when I overhear those men making the plan to pick a fight with you. I hear nothing of the others outside, though. The ones uh, inside? What like? Dressed, uh, as you say, it, uh, loud. Uh, Rio dandies again. Oui, that is right. They come often to El Rocco. So... Why pick on me? Monsieur Bruce, I, I think perhaps they are jealous that I care for you. Mm. And that is why when I dance, I, I try to make it appear I never see you. That is. Of course, it was torture for me. <sighs> Felt a little uh, uncomfortable myself. However, my dear, no harm done. But the hour's late. What am I going to do with you? Uh, perhaps you like to drive me home. Oui, Monsieur Bruce. Well, uh, I am afraid of being pursued also. Me too, as it happens. By a man? Uh, let pass. But uh, a taxi. Ah, uh, Monsieur Bruce, whatever would I do without you? Be feeling lost without you, mademoiselle, the way things are going. But uh, let's be off. Eventually reached my hotel suite put my pipes to bed, then self. In the course of getting Mademoiselle Carelli home, I mentioned the business of the doctored cocktail. It was that Jansen woman, no doubt about it. I expected that from Fay, but who was it, really? The misgivings were still there the following morning when we started operations from Sir Giles Davenport's Copacabana apartment. I'd dialed Paquita Riffio's number. It was ringing. You'll uh, disguise your voice, of course, Carson. Yeah, naturally, Sir Giles. Here we are. Good Ah, good morning to you also. Senorita Dolores, it is possible to speak to her? Who is that? Senorita Dolores. Uh, you're speaking to Dolores. Of course. All is safe, eh? Actually, it is Senorita Paquito Rifio to whom I am speaking. It is, but please be quick. I may not be alone for long. 
It has come to my ears that you may have some information which would be of value to me. In return for 25,000 cruzeros. A large sum. I will not bargain, senor. Unless I receive that sum, the risk is not worth it. Don't haggle, Carson. Anything, anything. Right, sir. Are you there? Of course, of course. I will not bring down the price. Never fear. I will pay. But there must be no delay. Would it be possible to meet the uh, agent we have appointed in exactly one hour? Whereabouts? Avenida Rio Branco. How will I know him? He will be selling curios. He will offer you a purse of Indian design. Inside it, you will find 25,000 cruceros in notes. That is, of course, after you have told our agent where we might find your former husband. He will be told the place. He will also be told the means. The means? I will explain to him. Now I must go. One hour from now, Avenido Rio Branco. That is so. Till then, adeus. Till then, senorita. <laughs> chopping, Carson, chopping. By Jove, is spoken like a native, eh, Angelo? Oh, indeed, Excellency. Well, up to you now, Angelo. You'll be selling the curios. We'll be standing by, hoping all goes well. And it must go well, Carson. Think of what's at stake. There was something at stake, all right. A deadly secret weapon. Something never used before. Others were after it. But for the sake of peace, we had to win the grim prize in Operation Death Ray. Operation Death Ray. 